Video games have some amazing weapons. I mean, the energy sword, the lancer, the spartan laser cannon, but what about the weapons that sucked? The weapons you picked up once and you threw it back down and said never again. That's what we're going over right now. Welcome to Chaos Gaming. Let's kick things off with the claw. Just the name of it in GoldenEye 007. Now, if you know me, welcome everybody, Chaos here. You know GoldenEye is one of my favorite games of all time. Now, if you spent any time in this game, you also know the Clob is one of the worst things you could ever put or use in a video game. The Clob is a Russian SMG that obviously was modeled after the real world Scorpion, but its damage and handling, well, they're, they're not very good in comparison. It has some of the lowest damage and the worst accuracy in the entire game. While you can use it to perfectly just have fun on lower difficulties, if you try to go through GoldenEye on the higher difficulty settings, guess what? It's useless. The damage is terrible. The magazine is tiny and it's inaccurate. Enemies barely drop ammo for it. and The drawbacks just keep going and going. Here it is. The club sucks. It's a good way to start today's list. Next up is the P2020 and Apex Legends. Now, before you dislike the video, let me say first that if you have the hop up for this gun, it's a monster. I know that. However, if you drop into the map and you get the P2020 as your starting gun, it's one of the worst feelings ever. Standard handgun, pretty big magazine, extremely low damage, requires you to hit pretty much every single shot in the mag in order to drop somebody. Battle Royale games are always, they're always about getting guns, and you want guns that can get the job done quickly, and this is the exact opposite of that. But, but, there's one gun in Apex Legends that has it beat in terms of uselessness. Now, I know you already know what this is before we get into it, so do me a favor, before we guess this number eight spot, Turn on your notifications, drop a like, make sure you're following the page, share this with somebody that you know enjoys useless weapons. The Mozambique, of course, yes. Once again, the Mozambique with the hop up is okay, but it, it, other than that, it's, it's a piece of crap. Come on, it's been in the game since launch. It's a meme now. They've even embraced that it's a meme. I mean, the awkward handling, pitifully low damage. It's a shotgun pistol with just a few shots in the chamber in order to get even remotely decent damage. You pretty much have to just be shoving the barrel in your enemy's mouth as you pull the trigger. Like simultaneously, you have to shove it in the mouth and pull the trigger at the same time. It's a crap weapon all around, and a lot of Apex Legends players would rather just use their fists than pick up this gun. That is saying something. Next up, the Grey Charge Shotgun in Fortnite. Fortnite is a game all about the weapons. You drop in, look for good weapons, and there's a big obvious gap between the common stuff and the more rare stuff. And the charge shoddy, it was added to the game at the beginning of Chapter 2, Season 3, and it was meant to shake up the shotgun meta, and guess what? It did do that. Most people will agree, though, it wasn't a good thing. The charge shotgun was a pump shotgun that had to be charged up before it fired. Yeah, just like it says, meaning it was the only gun in the game where the shot doesn't come right out when you pull the trigger. Now, Fortnite... It's a very fast-paced game, most shooters are, so the absolute last thing you want is for your gun to not fire when you pull the trigger. And the worst part about the chargey, well, you had to charge up the thing in order to get even remotely decent damage, meaning you had to be constantly thinking three steps ahead of your opponent, and you couldn't change course during that, and you were seriously nerfing yourself during the fight. It just, it was bad. Cherry on top, the damage was inconsistent. So, yeah. Next up is the Magnum in Halo Reach. Now, this thing has gone through a lot of changes throughout the years, growing pains, if you will, although most will agree it was at its worst in Reach. Halo 1 had a beastly magnum. Halo 2 and 3, they had dumbed-down versions, but it was still rather accurate and it was reliable as a sidearm. Then we get to Reach. Not only dramatically nerfed the damage of the magnum, but they also introduced the Halo community to Bloom, a mechanic that most shooters despise. Now, for those that don't know, Bloom is a mechanic in shooting games where you pull the trigger of your gun, well, it's going to make your next shot less accurate, requiring you to pace your shots and take things slowly in order to remain accurate. The Reach Magnum had some of the biggest bloom in the entire game, essentially turning the gun into a slot machine that you could never actually rely on for accuracy. So one day, I hope to see Bloom removed from every shooting game on Earth. I don't like this mechanic. At number five, the Wooden Sword in Witcher 3. Now, I know the wooden sword is admittedly supposed to be non-lethal, but that does not mean that it doesn't belong on today's list. Throughout The Witcher 3, every once in a while, you'll come across side missions that require you to fight people in non-lethal situations like spars and training exercises, in which you obviously use a wooden training sword. But there are ways to get the wooden sword added to your permanent arsenal and use it on normal enemies. Now, in these situations, it's one of the absolute worst things you could add. I mean, you could use, honestly. I know it's a shocker. In fact, in most situations, you'd be better off just using your fist instead of the wooden sword, and that is saying something. 
So while the wooden sword is perfectly acceptable for non-lethal takedowns and side missions, you're in a world for hurt if you try to actually use it in combat. Next up, your fists in Doom 1993. Now the newer Doom games make your fist a weapon of mass destruction. The original Doom uh, was bad. They were meant to be an absolute last resort choice that you would only use if you were completely out of ammo for every single gun in your arsenal. They dealt less damage than the starting pistol, and they required you to get up close and personal with demons who were hitting a lot harder than you. So yes, the new Doom game lets you go berserk with your fist, but the original game, using your fisticuffs, was not a good option. At number three, Pulse Grenades, Halo 4. Now Halo 4, they... They tried to shake up the formula and introduce us to all kinds of new crazy weapons, but for the most part, they were underwhelming. The pulse grenades, they were a new forerunner throwable, and it behaved pretty similarly to the power drain from Halo 3. However, the area of effect was smaller, it was weaker, it was easier to avoid. Pulse grenades were crap in single player and almost completely useless in multiplayer because of how easily enemy players could get out of the way. Now, Halo as a series is known for its big beefy weapons, and Halo 4, guess what? They missed the mark. At number 2. Flowers in GTA San Andreas. With how much freedom the GTA games give you, it should not be shocking that you can actually use flowers as a melee weapon. In San Andreas, there's a couple points where you're told to get flowers as a gift for your girlfriend, but if you want to, you can go off the beaten path, literally, and use these flowers as a melee weapon. Now, bizarrely, hitting someone with a bunch of flowers actually does more damage than hitting them with your fist, but it doesn't mean they're good. Flowers will take quite a few hits to drop somebody, and if the enemy has a gun, well, you're screwed. But... Hey, you clicked on a video of useless video game weapons, so I'm giving you useless video game weapons. The flowers. And at number one, the most useless gun, but probably the coolest gun on this list, is the Calibre in Battlefield 1. Now, this was admittedly meant to be useless, but it's worthy of a spot. People loved it. In real life, the Calibre was an extremely compact pistol that was manufactured in extremely limited quantities. It fired two millimeter ammunition, and the gun itself was only one-tenth of an inch wide and 0.4 inches long. So, DICE decided to bring the gun into Battlefield 1 as a fun little bonus gun that was not intended to be effective, but was rather as a humiliation to your opponents. If you got killed with a Calibre, it was nothing short of infuriating because it sucked. It dealt as low as one damage and a maximum of five, meaning it could take up to 100 shots to kill somebody with the gun. Now, the Battlefield 1 community loved the gun, and obviously for its intentional uselessness, the Calibre gets the number one spot on today's list. There you have it. The most useless weapons in games you never used. If we missed one, let us know what it was in the comments. I'll see you soon.